and uh, I wish I could say it was a nice day here in sunny Phoenix, Arizona, but it is really, you guys can't quite see, but a lot of cloud cover and almost feels like I'm in uh, Chicago or another state here, pretty, uh, pretty crazy, but um, not something I normally do here, but I figured this is a piece of news that needs to be covered. We have a court order ordering a lot of these residents to move and uh, if you've never experienced the zone here in Phoenix well we're gonna walk you through it definitely something I'm not feeling too great about a little nervous myself definitely didn't tell my mom I'm coming down here tonight so uh, today this morning rather but uh, let's check it out see what happens guys try to give you a, a taste of uh, what it is like here in this homelessness encampment and uh, hopefully you know, hopefully these people have somewhere to go that are getting displaced, and uh, yeah, let's go check it out. And currently we have, what, uh, zero, zero people joining us right now. So we have some tents over here, right here. We are on 9th Avenue in Madison. And driving through here, guys, just not a pretty, uh, not a pretty place to uh, to drive through. Kind of see here what's going on. It's a little blurry. Hopefully, it's coming out a little bit better on your end, guys. Some tents down over that way. Parked my car right there. Let's uh, hope everything's back. She's talking to someone. I don't know. How you doing, sir? Good. All righty. It's very nice. There's some tents all down here, guys. This is where I parked right here. tents over here on this side it goes all the way down doesn't look as bad as the videos I've seen on Skid Row and things like that but definitely definitely a lot of stuff going on here sad to see some of these people out here they look like normal people Sure, we all have that family member that's uh, experienced homelessness or you know, that friend that we know. Not an easy situation. Just waved at somebody, they waved back to me, so. Guys, is this the area that they're cleaning up right here? Yeah, okay. Do most of them have somewhere to go or are they kind of just figuring it out now? Um, that's what we're here. We're out here to help uh, get them in a location, but we can't give too much information. If you want to talk to somebody, you can talk to Scott Hall. He's down there. Scott's down there? Okay, yeah, maybe we'll talk to him. Thank you. Yeah. keep checking on my car back there. I hope I'm parked okay. I don't know. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like there might be a cop behind my uh, my car over there. Not sure. Maybe I should go back and check on it, but you know, if we get a ticket for parking, it's worth it. So look at this cloud coverage today. It's pretty crazy. How you doing? 
I'm just doing uh, YouTube live here for my YouTube channel, just kind of documenting what's hey, going on here. Wow, that's crazy. There's nobody else out here. Yeah. And they said today was the day to start. Today's the day. It looks like five people. How you doing? Are you documenting? I'm just documenting what's going on. Exactly taking some, what you do. Some, uh, take pictures and video. One suggestion. Yeah. Document what happened to the $15 million cash got to put all of us in the motels. What happened with to it? It's all gone? They never put nobody in motel. They put the money in their pocket. I'll have to research that. That they sounds pretty interesting. Money. Yeah. Did they? You have to check. You have to get some paperwork actually kind of back up what you're saying. It's okay to write, write, write and grunt or whatever. Right. But I, I just can't see what I could probably help with. I don't think, I think they already have the stuff. Yeah. Whatever. What are you doing out here? Oh, well, I'm just I'm giving a dump a load. I, okay. I was doing a couple of errands. You know, God don't play around. I, yeah. I, I ain't gonna pass it up. Yeah. I just, oh yeah. I, yeah, you know, some some stuff for scrap scrap yard or whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, we're. Yeah, you're probably not standing in the street we're here. In Phoenix and they, <laughs> yeah, we're, not just Phoenix, but yeah, they they don't see stop signs or anything. So like, the area. That's beautiful what you're doing though. Oh, yeah, just. I'm surprised no one else is out here doing any of I'm it. I'm trying or... to figure out how, what, how. It looks like um, maybe they have some on the other corners or whatever, but. Well, they got it a. It look like 20 people right there. Yeah, they got a news cop, cop helicopter up there. A <laughs> news helicopter yeah. going to move this up. Oh, yeah, as far as moving it? Yeah, you I don't need know. about 5,000 people to I thought they were... the area. I thought they were. I thought they were gonna have. Um, I thought they were gonna have like maybe some. Oh, um, yeah. In San Diego in 2004, and they were along the, the freeway thing and uh, okay. Lemon and Lemon Grove. Bro. Yeah. I almost did it myself. I went into the shelter. That was way back. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow. Got to go through a lottery and. And a lot of people say, you know, I tell them, I say, they say, I don't want to go in the shelter. It's, it's, um, it's, it's too many rules and different things like that. Yeah. And so I, I use an example. I say, step up on the sidewalk, couples or whatever. I say, now you're at the shelter. You get your medical, you get your dental and different things like that. And, and then you get a place to stay. You're going to stay there long, maybe nine months at the most. Then you step down with all that stuff and go and live your life. Right. You apply for housing and all that. They say, oh, no, I don't want to do And so, hey. Well, I think a lot of the people out here, yep, yeah, don't like to play by the rules. and. Well, it's just kind of. Well, yeah, 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 simple, simple thing. You, 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 you mess up, not mess up, but yeah. you did something at home. Mom and dad weren't putting up with it. Out. Yeah. You go to church, they're going to do the same thing. School, get out of the classroom. Those messes are yeah. principle. So, and so now you're out here, now you're in God's world, and you're still trying to do the same thing. Right. Now you're getting put out of that. Now you feel like nobody loves you because of your thing. But it comes down to this. It's us. Yep. It ain't the drugs, it ain't alcohol, it ain't the fish went belly up in the, in the tank. It's, it's us. Yep. And don't go from drug to drug. Yeah. Things, which Christ can take all that away. Um, you're going from drug to drug. Yeah. That's sad. It, it, it's a revolving door. Yeah. But you're here as a savior. You're one of the angels standing there. You're well, going I'm to just assess. documenting today. I, I'm not doing too but much. But... but you know what? Your mind is clear. And, and that's a propelling thing. Yeah. I can't explain this. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. But anyway, Hopefully everybody else William. thinks the same. William Ryan, nice yeah. to meet you, brother. Well, hey, good luck with what you're doing. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Be safe, brother. Yeah, I will try, man. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, don't watch out for the shoe, shoe there. Oh, oh, my God. I didn't even see those. All that time here. I walked up, I didn't even see them. <laughs> Watch your step. All right, my man. Take care. All right, well... Still freaking out about my car back there, but I guess it'll be fine. Let's cross the street. We're gonna cross Jefferson right now. We're right here between Washington and Jefferson is where they're 
clearing it out and uh, doesn't really look like there's a whole lot going on. I'll get you guys a better view here. This isn't the best of views, I know. It's not very easy to zoom in or out on YouTube Live either. Their uh, camera for the live is not that great. Ooh, there's a hole I almost actually fell in right here. Someone's got to cover that up. That's dangerous. All right, let's go. I'm going to get hit by a car. Whew. <laughs> so here we got A lot of people. Another, another documenter over here taking some pictures. So this is the only spot that they're cleaning up. Basically, this whole street from there to here. And the story is, guys, they have until. July 10th to clear up all these tents here and as you heard that man who came up to me say they have 15 million dollars that they're supposed to uh, they're supposed to be given for people to live in hotels and whatnot I don't know if they gave them that money Ma'am, did you get any of that $15 million that they gave out for people to sit in hotels or live in hotels? No? They didn't go around saying, hey, we got money, take it? No? Nothing like that? All right, well, good luck to you. She didn't get any money. Got these people right here kind of helping out some... type of social services organization that they're with. We got all the news cameras over here. That's where they're at. Oh, we got one guy talking over there. Let's go see if we can get that. Sounds like he's saying something important. I'd like to thank all the uh, zero people that are tuned in live today. Oh, someone's yelling. She's not happy. Some of the sentiment of the residents here today. Oh, I don't bring water, but I'm thinking they have water they'd probably give me. Let's go see what this dude's talking about. Looks like I'm late to the party. I don't have a microphone either. people up here.
whatever that life looks like for them. That's not predetermined by me or anybody else. We want what they want. Um, and we just don't like to see anybody suffer in our streets. Our goal is not to have anybody on our streets in Phoenix. We want them safe and worse business. And then lastly, how many people are probably want me in the background here so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand over here all right well you guys can watch that on Fox 10 I'm not gonna get up and all up in their business but uh, yeah People, I think they just uh, got up and figured out what was going on, unfortunately. So I don't see anybody moving anything, really. Everything's still here. Got a metro cart on the ground. A lot of trash. Still hoping I didn't get a ticket on my truck, but we'll see. Got some bikes. Over there, someone might still be in there. They may be refusing to move. Let's go uh, try to talk to some people and get their get their views. He's got a Dell computer. Oh boy. What's up, dude? Are you here? Are you here helping out, or do you live? We're here helping out. We're yeah. here helping out. Gotcha. I'm here helping out. We're here helping out. We're here helping out. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, God bless, man. 
How's everybody taking it so far? They, uh, I've seen a few mad people, but uh, where, where do you think everybody's going to? You think they're just like migrating the, the block over, or? I think they're migrating to make better choices. Is what I'm gonna. Do. Right on. Because they, they all need to, you know. Like nobody deserves to be out here. Yeah, that's they rough. Have, they have they have resources. There's, there's several different resources that we have to go to. You know? Yeah, no doubt. They're ready when they're ready. I'll see that. There you go. God bless. Keep doing what you're doing. Morning. How you doing? Did you? Are, are you? Are you? Did, did you? Live here, or are you just walking through? Completely uh, helping. Helping out. Yeah, All right. Completely helping. How's it going so far? Yeah. Are people? Uh, are, are people? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Being a racist, want to get a job. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so these guys, you're saying these guys don't want to do anything, they don't want to work? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. I understand. Yep. Well, made, made some bad choices and uh, definitely uh, not in the best of situations, so hopefully. Hopefully, for the, for the community, for the government, don't want to pay taxes, don't want to do nothing. Right. Yeah. Well, hopefully, um, you know, it's like it, hopefully it's like a parent kicking them out, and you know, yeah. maybe they'll they'll yeah. say, hey, we gotta we gotta do something right now, cause. Yeah. But we'll see, man. It's sad all around. Well, you know, it's, it's too much. You know, this guy ain't get jobs. Have a job. Yeah. Yeah, man. Too hard. Too much jobs in every place. See little kids is really working. Yeah. All these guys is like grow up, man. Do you think it's? Do you, would you say it's mostly laziness here, or like mental health issues, or a combination, or? The father, and the the mom, and the dad had the ball because in their tree, people are working. Yeah. Now the father, the mom get tired of right. the house. Right. The, 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 the garment. Well, keep doing what you're doing, my man. Take it easy. I'm Ryan, by the way. Nice to meet you. I love you guys. See you later. Work hard. Work hard. Yep. Work hard. Don't end up here. Oh, man. The truck is still there. That's good. Looks like there's more people here helping than uh, there are residents, so I guess that's a good thing. I mean, I guess it's good they didn't come in with bobcats, because that's kind of what I pictured. I pictured bobcats coming in and just taking everything like bulk trash day. Food protection custody. Oh boy. I'm live again. All right. Oh, this guy just wants to be on TV, I think, right here. All right, man. Stole his bike. Oh, he's over here stealing things. 
He stole his bike. I find it right down the street. It's hard to keep your um, valuables. It's hard to keep your valuables here. People steal it a lot, taking things. Not yours. They know better to mess with you, right? Yeah. Well, he was kind of advertising that he took it as he rode through. Sure, sure. I mean... Yeah, I'm not gonna leave the street, I'm sorry. I don't know why she's asking me to do that, it's kind of weird. Maybe you can get on the sidewalk. So we have Community Bridges, which looks like is the big uh, company that's helping people out today, Community Bridges. And they're over here. Oh man, what's up? I don't have any gloves, man. Sorry. Did those uh, break on you? Gloves broke. He's got gloves. So still got a lot of work to do here. To get things cleared out. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Truck is still there. I'm sweating. My pits are sweating. It's nervous. Definitely different. Wow, going on over here. Coming up with some some answers, some plans. Uh, security has arrived. this is uh, Phoenix police or if this is just a security company let's go find out <clears throat> are you guys Phoenix police or are you just security today team team security team security So now that truck is there, team security, that's almost, doesn't even look real, but I'm so a public place here. You don't have permission to get our fucking pictures. That's I'm a, a human being and I have my right to I, I Okay, I won't, I won't take a picture. You get the relax. camera off of us. You need to relax. Yeah. I wasn't putting my hands on it. Take my finger. 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 Take my fin
I was not expecting to get this footage today, ladies and gentlemen, but it has happened. Oh, she's bearing it full today. That guy's flicking the camera off. I mean, I'm not here to upset anybody, but he's not happy. He's not happy. Her pants are still down over there, unfortunately. Well, that uh, puts a climax on the day here. 30 minutes into the uh, excursion. Sounds like we got some people still in this tent right here and they're trying to get out. Sounds like they're doing something to help this guy. Little frog right here sitting in a chair. So you can see some of the people are not very happy about what's going on. Most of the people. So you can, so you can mock. Hey, I know how to make a decision. But <laughs> All right, Denzel. I, I relent. I relent to what is. This gentleman right here has been standing here the whole time and hasn't really moved. I don't know what he's going to do. Oh, they're moving a tent. So I don't know if they're migrating this to a different location. It sounds like it's what it sounds like. They're just putting Give me a it different. recording. Just step off to the side on the sidewalk. I mean, it's a public street. I, I'll go. I'll try to stay over on the side. I'll try to stay on this side. I'll try. No promises. I'm about Fourth Avenue, Madison. Team security. We're bringing that tent somewhere. Some reporters over here recording. This guy's recording. Crossing the street here with the tent. That's the first time I've seen that. That is not something you see every day, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know where they're going to put it. Probably going to put it by my car. A lot of area down there to live for the time being. Let's go ahead over here. So, they restricted us from the street. Oh boy. Man, I seriously think they're dropping it right in front of my truck. I'm going to be tented in by the time I try to leave.
All the angry people left. Yeah, I guess you can't really blame them for being angry in a situation like this. I mean, they've lived here for probably a long time. If you go through on a Google map and look back to 28, I, I think the you know, Google Maps can be a couple years old, but you can kind of see the start of this encampment. And uh, it's definitely not as many tents as there are now. Uh, moving people out. For real. There you go. So it looks like City of Phoenix is here, Community Bridges. You got the team security. A lot of people helping out and uh, a few people recording. Security. I don't know why the police aren't here. Like, why do you need to hire security guards? It's kind of weird. Maybe they have other things to do? I, I don't know. It's very nice, all these people helping out, though. Gotta admit that. Coming together, trying to. Looks like they're here trying to find a solution. This is one of the more popular people here. I think everybody knows him. He's got his bike back, so that's good. <clears throat> oh boy. This is not an easy day, guys. This is it's a little crazy. She's from Fox 10, I think. smile on her face. Saw the helper cars over here, parked over here. That's where I should have parked. Wow, this is an interesting uh, enclosure over here. He's got a lot of stuff. These guys are all moving over here. This guy seems in pretty good spirits though. Doesn't seem too mad about the whole thing. Pretty happy. He's cordial. So this is all public property. So you'll see all the tents over here. We got Phoenix Inner City Kids program building right there, and then this is all private. So you know, people know not to tent, not to uh, camp out on the private areas, except for them. Maybe that's public up over there where they're camped out at but uh, they just woke up and they've done a pretty good job on cleaning up their stuff so that's good oh man Well, 
Oh, yeah. I guess I'll listen to that guy, although he's full of crap. Oh, here's a drone. Someone flying a drone over there. Wanted to argue with that guy, but not get into it right now. I'm going to be sweating in the pits enough. I don't need any more after being uh, accosted on video. Yeah, well, guys, I hope, uh, I hope this gives you an idea of what it's like over here. Now, you're not going to experience, you know, it's much like uh, Lower Wacker in Chicago. I know there's some homelessness going on over there. And, uh, obviously, you know, L.A.'s got its areas, San Francisco. But uh, you won't experience any of this. Really see it in the in the burbs of Phoenix, I guess, as far as Gilbert Chandler, Tempe a little bit, but no tents. Southeast Valley is pretty uh, pretty clean, so it's just unfortunate to see this stuff anywhere. And uh, yeah, hopefully they all get the help that they need, guys. So I'm probably gonna wrap it up here. I've been out about 45 minutes. And uh, I'll let the media handle it from here, I guess. A little stroller right there. She knows how to work it. I wouldn't know how to do that. Truck's still there. Keep checking on my truck. I'm just worried about it. I don't know why. I don't understand what they're taking all this stuff in. It looks like it looks like they're um, like how are they even moving this? So they got a few cars here. I mean, you think they'd have like some type of bigger trucks or something, but I don't know. All right. Zoom in a little bit for you guys. Oh, we're live again. Oh, we're live again. Or you can send me a message and I can send you an Amazon wish list if I can. We are live. All right. Oh, guys, they're going to spend the rest of the day getting this cleaned up. Um, just wanted to, like I said, give you guys a taste of what the zone is like down here in Phoenix before they clear 
shirt out. Now we got caution tape going up from Team Security. TeamSecurity.com. Throwing up the caution tape like you can't walk in here. She's been walking around. I feel like I want to leave, but I shouldn't leave, but I should leave, so. Oh. I guess we'll walk down here, see how they move this tent, and then uh, and then take off. Guys gonna all right here we go we have a crossing guard here it's gonna help us walk across the street Got nice this guy I don't know if these cars are seriously There it is, guys. The zone. They get a lot more blocks to clear out and clean up. I'll get there. Put that one tent that they put over here. Phoenix Fire Department, making their way out. Yeah, no, they're just driving by. Very nice blinker. All right, so one of the tents, I don't know where they put that tent from earlier, it's gone. All right, guys, that's it. We got yelled at a few times, and uh, I'd say overall it was a success. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you guys are still at the end of this. Ooh, someone's uh, car did not do so well over there. Oh my gosh, that's not good. How the hell did that happen? Okay, glad they didn't do that to my car, considering I got my dang face on the thing. See you on the next one.